don't think Beth's very happy with the caliber of hair dryer in our room right now. What's the matter with it, Beth? You have to hold the button down. <laughs> And it's pathetic anyway. <laughs> and it's gonna be great, because Beth's dyeing her hair tonight. So, um, yeah. <laughs> you go in pink, ain't you? <laughs> so we're here at the premiere in, in Heathrow. And we have a very, very wonderful view. Let me show you. It's of the food. Yes, hello food, hello food. I'm in a really weird mood, I'm yeah, sorry. Yeah, you are. <laughs> We've literally just got here. Uh, but it's pretty standard. I, none of that was filming me. I was all filming the wall. Hi, I'm here. Not the other end. <laughs> Beth hates me right Give now. Give me the TV. <laughs> um, so yeah, this is just the room. Hello. Before we've trashed it. And you've got standard, bog standard bathroom in here. Yars. Come on. Now she's having trouble with the TV. It's you, I swear to God it's you. Oh, the fucking cable wasn't in the back. What kind of establishment is this? <laughs> PR. <laughs> I've already checked the bed for lice. Oh, nice. Yeah. Have you um, have you done a dust check? No, I haven't. Oh, she's going to do it. I do genuinely do this. How is it doing? Check above the mirror. Oh, we're good. Oh, yeah, I never do that. <laughs> Could be worse. Anyway, let's find something to all your face really high. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I was gonna say I'm not giving it up seeing as you've got the window seat on the flight. <laughs> so it's fine, I am not staying in the same bed as you anyway, because you kick like a fucking donkey. <laughs> yes I do, I'm sorry. <laughs> uh so we're gonna Oh god, not Jeremy Kyle. Jeremy Kyle! Not Jeremy Kyle, please! Jeremy Kyle! Anything but Jeremy bloody Kyle. Jizzah! Oh god. So wait a minute, we're gonna go down. Wait well, a minute, but. You're soon. only denying you're the dad because you won't pay for our daughter. Pretty standard. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's always oh, gobbing up. <laughs> <coughs> we're gonna go down in a minute, book a table for, for breakfast and. Tea tonight. Beth probably won't eat, but I'm fat, so I'm gonna chow down. I'm excited for tomorrow's breakfast! Oh, I'm Ainsley Harriet. <laughs> Except I'm white. <laughs> and not bald. Yeah. <laughs> Yet. <laughs> Keep bleaching your hair and you will be. <laughs> okay, bye. <laughs> So I've just been down to the sports bar at the oh, premiere Inn. Because um, I wanted food, but Beth's anxiety means that she can't eat uh, much. So I've just gone down to grab myself a pizza. And now I'm heading up to the room. And I'm a little bit anxious as to what I might find. She looking like a Teletubby. <laughs> hang on, hang on, hang on. <laughs> nice gem. That wasn't as bad as I made it out to be. But we're here three hours early, which is new for me. The, because we're flying with Finette, they don't have people on a desk. They have like, you, you have to check in everything yourself. And that was a bit, bit unnerving for me. I didn't like that. What did you think? It was right. <laughs> done that before, it's fine. I haven't and I hated it. Um, so now we've got three hours to kill. So God knows what we're doing. We're just gonna have a wander around the airport and yeah. I'm pink now, by the way. Oh yeah, she's pink. She dyed it yesterday. <laughs> um, but yeah, seeing the Gucci, she's off. <laughs> Find something because nothing says I love you like a big jar of Nutella. <laughs> Come on, Helsinki. Come on, Helsinki. No. Faster we go. Of course I would get the machine that doesn't work properly. That's great. That's grand. It's not our plane. Our plane is that. You can only see the wheeling of our plane. Hang on. You can't really see it. Right, there's the arse end of it. Yes.
Yeah. And young ha say yo. And young ha say yo. Welcome to Korea. It is the fifth of April. You're about to see a sight. There is a lot to talk about. Yesterday we didn't do anything. I kind of went out of the room and a little bit of a wonder, but for the most part we didn't actually do anything. <laughs> My lips are so dry. Beth hasn't been feeling very well for the last few days. Where do I begin? Starting off with the airport. <laughs> Because that place really solidified my love for this country, I'm telling you. Um, we hadn't even, we'd been in the queue an hour. We'd, be st we'd been stood up waiting to get into the country. And we, <laughs> we, we get in the queue and we get to this woman. Well, we get to this woman's death. And she doesn't look very happy. But to be fair, working at border control, it's not going to make you very happy. So... <laughs> I get, I get to her and out because my mama taught me to be nice and taught me to be polite to everyone. So I, I you know, I went about that. So I, I went up to her and I was like, oh, hello. And uh, she was like, hi. Okay. She didn't speak to me. Now, I don't know whether that was because she just didn't want to or because she just didn't know English. But she didn't speak to me, which didn't bother me. And then right at the end, before we went, before I was about to go through, she um literally threw my passport at me. I was like... This is absolutely great. Within the first two hours, someone had already thrown something at me and just didn't generally like me, which I thought was absolutely hilarious. We need more people like her, I think, in the world and working in airports because she was just hilarious. To be fair, she was the, she's the only person who has come across as even slightly rude at the moment. Um, but yeah, I just, I just thought she was amazing. So then what happened? We got our bags, got the train. That was a palaver, but once we figured that out, it was fine. Um, but we got the train from Incheon to Seoul Central. Um, and well, first of all, we got this little Wi-Fi thingy. And more countries need to do this, honestly. I love it. I really love it. It's so handy and it's so helpful. And I don't know why other places haven't adopted this thing yet, but it needs to happen. Then we got on the train after like begging for help from a load of people who worked there. Like the information, I'm really sorry, I don't know what I'm doing, help me. The train was quite nice actually. They played some TV while we were on there. It was a 51 minute journey, cost about £9.50 roughly. I mean, like, I don't know the conversion rate. It was 9,501. I'm probably completely wrong in saying that it was about 9,050, but that's just what's happened. I'm saying it was about 9,050 because that's how I'm, I'm sort of like seeing the conversion. But yeah, it was quite cheap. And then we got lost in Seoul Central Station, basically is what happened. We didn't know where we were going. We had our suitcases. We had a lot of bags. We had the cow maps up and open, trying to find our way out. And that was a shit show and a half. Purely because we just didn't, just didn't know anything. We got out of there, then came trying to navigate the streets so that we could find our hotel. Because what we wanted to do, and what we were happy with doing, was we wanted to walk from South Central Station to our hotel. And that's fine because we, we knew it was going to be about a half hour walk, 35 minute walk from Seoul Central Station to our hotel. That wasn't a problem. The issue we had was that the connection wasn't very good. So we kind of, we didn't get lost, but we were having trouble figuring out our bearings. And then after that, we kind of didn't realize, <laughs> researcher told me that Korea was quite hilly because it's surrounded by hills but I didn't realize just how hilly it was so we ended up walking for about an hour trying to get to this hotel because it was just hard to navigate the hills <laughs> it was just really hard to the point where we were practically dying on the side of the street oh it was awful absolutely awful but 
we got there, we made it eventually. For the most part, it was downhill. After we'd, after we'd got to the top of one of the hills, it was all downhill from there. So it was, it was, it was fine, it was fine. It was just a bit of a pain in the ass. And then getting to the hotel, we missed the turning for the hotel. We walked a little bit further than we should have. We found that pretty much okay, because it was a straight line from the main road. It was from Seoul Central Station onwards, it was basically a straight line, which made our lives 10 times easier. We basically, ah, the only thing we couldn't figure out was how to use their crossings. We didn't know if there was a different etiquette there, here, to how it is at home. Um, but eventually, like everything, we figured it out and almost got run over a few times, but that was fine. Checking in here, <sighs> checking in here, the guy who checked us in kind of looked a little bit like Park Hyung Shik. Hyung Hun Shik. Hyun Shik? Hyun. I keep forgetting if there's a G in there. I don't think there is. He looks a little bit like him. And I'm not complaining. He was he was very nice. Um, very helpful, English speaking, which thank God because I just wasn't in the right state of awakeness to be able to even attempt to speak Korean at anybody. Well. Yeah. Um, where was I? Park Hyun Shik. That's where, that's where everybody is at this point. We couldn't check in, unfortunately, until two o'clock. And we got here at 11, <laughs> no, 12. We got here at midday. So as you can tell, there was a lot of waiting around. Um, but that was fine. We managed to figure something out. Got to the room, very pokey room, but it's, it's very nice and we actually have quite a nice view though there is a massive office building in front of us it is quite a nice view i went to 7-eleven last night and had a little bit of a wander and um well i say last night it was in the evening yeah it's just it's such a nice area i also ordered my breakfast yesterday morning in completely fluent korean and i was very proud, proud of myself there was only one bit that i didn't really understand and that was when she asked if I wanted my food warmed up and I was like sorry I don't I don't sorry but today we are we're gonna keep exploring this area because like I said Beth hasn't been out of the hotel yet she needs to see everything like around what's going on um so yeah that's what we're doing today Thing I've learned is that the British had more of a hand in building this than I thought they did. I genuinely, I am gobsmacked that we had relations with, with Korea. Genuinely. So we paid 10,000 won to get in here. 
but that that also includes like three other palaces and I think a temple something like that but it was even if it was just this palace I think it would be worth the 10,000 won it's less than 10 pounds I know for this like mental I mean same I have no idea who David Hockney is, but whoever he is, he's done really well to take over the entire museum. Yeah. secret garden here but I just pointed out it can't be that secret because it's on the ticket It's a hidey hole. It can even be a troll hole. <laughs> Don't cry your eyes at me. Steps are too high for my little legs. <laughs> Don't laugh at me. <laughs> the delay in speakers makes her sound like a ghost. It's very scary. <laughs> you look like some sort of gremlin, pink haired gremlin. <laughs> this palace is actually way bigger than I thought it would be. Given that the other one was quite small. And this one's huge, it's like three palaces in one. <sighs> now they're away. Uh -huh. Sorry. As you can probably tell, we're back in the hotel room. <laughs> this is actually what it looks like now that it's nice and clean and tidy. We've got two singles, that, and then a bathroom in there. But I'm not sure it's up to you because we've been on our feet all day and I can't be asked to move. Yeah, I'm tired. She's tired. But we've got our Mackie D's, so it's okay. Not spod. So if you would like to spot. <laughs> <laughs> As if McDonald's would ever sponsor you. I'm trying to figure out what this bottle says so oh. I can actually tell what it is. So, so I think it's apple juice. Good luck with that. What else is on the front? Or is it literally just apples? Just apples. It's from the Coca Cola Company. Oh, nice. We stand a worldwide brand. Oh, speaking of worldwide brand, speaking of being worldwide. <laughs> I got a gin on my coat ball! Worldwide handsome! Worldwide handsome on a worldwide brand! We stan! Mm. At least it's gone now, but it's left like a mass. It looks like I've been in the fight. <laughs> Today we are going to Hongdae. Uh, I'm very excited. Beth is very excited. Mm. She, she looks very excited. We're also going to meet up with one of best friends today. So, you'll see in your face. Maybe. I don't really want to throw a camera straight in her face, you know, but you might. I've pre-warned her. <laughs> I've already warned her that cameras are going to be around. Just to let you know, there's going to be two cameras in your face at all times. I really like miss when I went home. Where's the gold? It's fine, I'm not upset at all. Oh, 
준비하시면 말씀해 주세요. 안녕하세요. The thing is, I'm not actually, I'm not actually getting a lot. It's just what I am getting is big and bulky. I was over there looking at the um, shuki cushion, and turns out it was too big for the basket. So the worker kind of gave me that. <laughs> It looks like I'm buying more than I am, but I'm really not. <laughs> Size of that. <laughs> hey, look at this bed. Holly's is again also tiny. And the size of that. <laughs> I'm not a thief, it's okay. <laughs> the right place. Strong feeling. Yeah, yeah, I do have a really strong feeling. <laughs> <laughs>
online store. I am now a Ford Master and Army Bomb Heavier. I am excited. Look at how pretty it is. It's really cool. Don't get me wrong, I love Jimin as much as the next person, but he's my third photo card so far. <laughs> chim Chim. Stop haunting me, please. I just bought me some shaky shoes and I'm really happy now. <laughs> what? Do you think that giant Korea bag is going to exceed our hand luggage limit? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> just a little bit. <laughs> so here we are, 9,000 kilometers away from our home. I'm going to find a H&M. So we are now eating street food, nom nom. This is an egg bun type thing. Like, mm. oh, they're so good. Mm. <laughs> How are you coping with that spicy lamb? I didn't realize it was spicy. She rolled it in something and I didn't know what it was. I have a giant mozzarella on a stick. And I'm happy. Hello and welcome to another edition of Mal doesn't know what the hell she's doing in terms of this vlog. Hi, hello. Today we are finishing our palace tours. Um, we're gonna head on to the one that's down the road. I don't know what that's called, but we'll find out. Okay. <laughs> that's what's happening today. Let's stop and take a photo. <laughs> they say humans are social animals, they can't live alone. But you can live pretty well by yourself. I tell you, instead of feeling alone in a group, it's better to have real solitude all by yourself.
Oh yeah. Why? <laughs> this is not gonna end well. Oh my lord. I love a mermaid. Nope, dead end. <laughs> right, I dare you to just run. Ah, you're funny. And see what happens. You are funny. <laughs> I'll do it if you do it. <laughs> See, I'm used to these because we have these in Western. Obviously, in the seaside town, but lots of cats <laughs> And I can usually find my way out of them. I'm glad you can because I can't. Why is there nobody else here? Because they all died in the maze. <laughs> <laughs> it might be a trick. No, it found it. We win. Oh wow, this is very cold. <laughs> so cold! If you come here during the summer, this is definitely a good place to go. <laughs> okay, for real, this is the only reason why we're here. <laughs> so this is Jimin and my hand. <laughs> it's literally the same size! <laughs> no, his, no, his is a little bit smaller because my palm isn't underneath. <laughs> what about Yingi? Me and Yingi have almost the same size hands. <laughs> what about me? Ah! <laughs> Jungkook has massive palms and tiny fingers. That size difference, though. <laughs> Hobie. Yeah, okay, me and Hobie have exactly the same hands. I think we can conclude that I have giant man hands. Oh my god, apart from that, RM. Hello, Namjoon. <laughs> As if we're starting off our day doing BTS things with MTV playing nothing but BTS. Today just became perfect. <laughs>
it, Papa? Who's a good boy? Oh, he's a sleepy baby. And young as a yo. And young as a yo, Papa. When two media students are alone on a trip and they have no other means of taking photos of each other together. <laughs> you tip a trolley. <laughs> Put the camera on. This is a great tripod. <laughs> I feel kind of weird taking videos and pictures here because you know, people actually live in these. <laughs> That's like, I don't care, I want the shop. Oh, what are your spray? <laughs> made exactly it makes all the sense. Shut your face, Grandma. There she goes. Oh, cute. You're not seeing the blossom. Can't be asked. This is a really thing and it's not live if they haven't filmed it. There's a Popo in there. There's a baby Popo. I just saw a Popo. Oh, he was so cute. I don't care about him. I just want the dog. Do I agree with this? Yes, I do. Absolutely. <laughs> Sorry, Jamie. <laughs> While we're here, do you want to get a chair of this better than a boyfriend? Jamie might not like me very much if I do. <laughs> but sure. <laughs> a regular human compass, aren't you? Yeah. <laughs> I've got us everywhere we've needed to go so far. <laughs> With only minimal us actually losing the way. Yeah, literally. <laughs> when we were actually got on track nine and we had no reason to get on track nine. No, 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 no. that was right. I just didn't feel comfortable on it. Uh, track nine was the right one. Being a penis. <laughs> Yeah, they may be sweet, but are they better than a boyfriend? I don't know, it's a street. <laughs> I know! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I think... I haven't had any weirdness from me yet, have you? I think they're done. No! <laughs> uh, hear music? Happening. Where is it coming from? Going on? Must find out. Follow the sound.com.